Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's conference hosted by the Jacobs Levy Equity Management Center for Quantitative Financial Research of the Wharton School. Uh, we're pleased to be here uh, for the Santer's annual Frontiers in Quantitative Finance Conference. We truly appreciate Bruce's and Ken's ongoing partnership and leadership and all the opportunities for students and faculty at Wharton made possible by their ongoing support, tangible and intangible. This conference embodies the Jacobs Levy Center's mission to bridge academia and practice, bringing faculty and students and financial practitioners together to learn about and discuss the latest research in quantitative finance. Ken and I established the Jacobs Levy Center in 2011 to honor our firm's 25th anniversary. Our goal was to spur the creation of ideas and innovations that make a real impact on the practice of finance and investing. There's this fact that you know I, we probably all know that if you look at short-term performance one month out of stocks that have gone up over the last month, they tend to underperform slightly those that have gone down over the last month. Um, and it's fairly weak in the data. Um, it's not very strong outside of microcaps, and it's gotten a lot weaker post-decimalization. What I appreciate the most is this paper uh, provides a novel and a useful estimate of the expected returns from liquidity provision. And more importantly, they offer this value, very valuable perspective on the pricing of liquidity from various origins. Circuit breakers have been beneficial to the market as they have prevented market crashes from occurring during the pandemic. However, while designed to accommodate new shocks, most of the trading costs turn out to be liquidity events. In the space, the SEC regulations evolve with a small sample of events, and you know I think it's important to sort of step back, to think about things conceptually, to use theory, to do a detailed design, to try to be clearer about what's the problem, what's the issue. Uh, we now have a distinct and great pleasure of highlighting the 2023 winners of the Jacobs Levy Center Research Paper Prizes. They recognize outstanding scholarship in quantitative financial research by members of the Wharton faculty and their co-authors. We now invite the authors who are uh, with us here today to join us up on the podium to accept their awards. Congratulations. So now it is my job to entertain this audience with a highly technical paper after lunch. I hope you have had enough coffee. So in the end, we demonstrate our statistical limits to arbitrage. And the economic consequence is that this statistical limit widens the bound in which mispricing can survive in the presence of arbitrageurs. So first thing I want to talk about is big picture. I do think this is, I mean, this is obviously a paper about SF pricing, about arbitrage, but I mean, fundamentally, this is a paper about expectation formation. We care about asset prices, and we do form expectations about asset prices, about returns, and that's how arbitrage goes to arbitrage. Uh, it's my pleasure now to introduce today's panel discussion, Advances in Market Microstructure. What other sorts of things have you seen in the last few years that you think were surprising to the markets? I think the biggest uh, innovations or changes that we've seen have been in terms of technology in terms of speed, in terms of uh, the tools that are being utilized rather than being able to identify a singular idea that has changed the landscape. People who make markets, people who trade are, from my experience, smart people who have money to serve as a very strong motivation to get things right. So how much do we have to tell them that they don't already know? I think the other important uh, category uh, is, is regulation that is uh, constantly uh, evolving. Occasionally restrictions on short sales and things like that that are affecting uh, the way that uh, trade happens. The 2023 Wharton Jacobs Levy Prize recipient, Albert S. Pete Kyle, is being honored for his groundbreaking work exploring the market impact of trading and its effects on prices and liquidity. Those of us who manage portfolios, as well as our clients, owe a debt of gratitude to Pete Kyle for shining a light on the inner workings of the trading process, which is so important and yet so little understood. 
please join us for the presentation of the prize medal. Well, thank you so much. I'm uh, really happy. It's about as happy as I can be. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I think my invariance research and also the smooth trading research and flow trading research are addressing a lot of the issues that came up in my 85 paper and sort of bringing that paper uh, more up to date and putting it, I hope, on the frontier of research today rather than the frontier of research in 1985. So thank you. So friends, uh, all things come to an end. Thanks very much again to Pete Kyle, uh, to Bruce Jacobs and Ken Levy, and all of today's presenters discussants and panelists. We look forward to seeing you virtually or in person at a future event and hope you'll stay in touch with the center. Thank you. Thank you.